Welcome. In this screencast I want to show you how you can record a podcast or audio stream with Audacity. First of all we need to install Audacity. So we go to our menu, Preferences, Synaptic Package Manager. Here we search for Audacity. And there we have it, Market for Installation, hit Apply and it will be installed. I already did this, so after installation you can find this tool under the menu, Sound and Video, Audacity. So this is the basic user interface. As you can see, we have a menu bar here and a toolbar here with the normal two buttons like play, pause, stop, backwards and forwards and a an record button that allows you to record something. So let's record something. Blah, 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 this is a test, blah. So now pretend we have recorded something. I don't know if the software recognized my voice because um, I'm capturing the screencast also. Hopefully it did get something from here. So let's pretend we have uh, our podcasts or audio recording here and we need to apply some effects, make it a little bit louder. So we go to the effects menu, Mark first of all we mark everything by either clicking on the audio track here or mark it with the marker tool or the selection tool here to select it. And then we click on effect and apply the normalize effect. Click on OK and there you can see we normalized the whole stuff and uh, now you can see that I really did record something extremely, um, it isn't extremely loud but you can play it back and this first part is a little bit noise that I want to cut out somehow. So I have two options. First of all I can easily cut so with my selection tool I can uh, select the part that I want to cut and then edit, cut or trim. Let's say cut. Uh, or, and I think this is a little bit better if you want to create a little bit more atmosphere, is selecting the effect and then the noise removal tool. Then uh, with the noise uh, marked, click on Get Noise Profile. This will analyze uh, this noise data here. Then you select the whole track by clicking on the track here. Effect, Noise Removal, and then you click OK. And then you see the noise is removed here and only my voice is um, on the track here. So clicking Play. Ah, it's working fine, but it's uh, a little bit, a little bit too low the audio output here. So ah, as you can see, I can also resize my track if I want to see it in a better or more detailed detailed view here. I can easily resize uh, those track. Also, if I have multiple tracks here, resizing becomes very handful. So let's make it a little bit louder. So we go to effect. It's better. This is a trick or tip if you want to, if you really are a podcaster, you want to create a podcast, click on the uh, compressor effect here. Then set the threshold to minus 19 and the ratio to 5.1. 5 to 1 and the attack time to 0 0.1 seconds and click OK and as you can see it's far louder now and far better understandable. You have also the option to add some uh, nice effects like bu bus boost that will give you some extra bus here. You can set the frequency uh, I will preview the defaults. 
Yeah, a little bit higher frequency here. Okay, this is a little better. And you can see the output level is quite good here, I think. Not too high, not too low. So very nice, understandable now. So now I've edit and cut my little podcast here and I want to save this podcast. So what do I do? I click first of all on file and then on save project as because this is very important if somehow the application crashes or if you want to edit your audio file later on you have to save it as a project file so that you can um, then easily edit it again. Click here and you can give it a name and it will save it as an o, uh, AUP file, so an Audacity Pro Projects file and this one will store only the uh, not only the structure of your tracks and how they are arranged but also the audio files and audio tracks as a um, WAV file I think. So let's go into the right directory music and take a look. Here we have the podcast file, the project file and here we have the data for this project file and here you can see there's all the audio information that we have in our project here and this are the AU files so it's an wave like uh, audio format that's a little bit bigger than mp3 for example so uncompressed if you want to save this podcast as a compressed file like mp3 or org warbis you just go to the file menu hit export and then you can export it either as a wave file microsoft wave file or as an IEFF, uh, MP3, Org Warbis, FLAC, MP2, whatever you want to. Uh, AAC is also supported via FFmpeg. Uh, AMR is also supported. This is a very uh, popular format for mobile phones and of course also Windows Media Audio format if you have FFmpeg installed. So I will export this as uh, Orkworbis and go to my music folder. I have some nice options here like setting the quality. Uh, 5 I think. Well, let's say 6 here and yeah, Orkworbis save. I can then edit the metadata here, can add an artist name, can add a track number of course, uh, album title mm, and yeah then comments or w what else, genres, templates, can load them here. Hit OK and then it will start exporting and it's already finished. That's why <laughs> no message appears here. Uh, if you go to your directory you can see this here we have the org file. So this is how easily it is to create a podcast or edit, edit audio files under Lubuntu 10.04. I hope you enjoyed this screencast and thanks for watching.